Sometimes the most productive thing you can do in your day as human beings is to do absolutely nothing. Now, if you heard that first line and you were excited because you now have permission to just sit on the couch and play video games, this is not for you. I'm speaking to all of you workaholics out there. You, you know who you are. Work is like a drug to you. So, you. so the thought of just doing nothing gives you the weebie-jeebies. You don't like just doing nothing. And I know, I, I know you're a driven person. You have lots of ambition. Your, your schedule is hectic. But still, there's times in your life when you need to just do nothing. And in this session, I'm going to give you permission to push against your grain and find some, some time every day to do nothing. I encourage you to stay tuned until the end, and I'll leave you with a huge practical tip that will help you do nothing. Hey there, I'm Ryan Franklin, and this is Church Leader Made Simple. And I would love for you to join me every week as we explore leadership topics that will help you get the clarity needed to move your church forward. Just hit the subscribe button and the bell to get notified as soon as I post a new session. And without any further delay, let's get to it. Leaders, especially church leaders, are known for struggling in one specific area of their lives, resting. We can't help ourselves. With the always-on nature of church ministry and our drive to make disciples of Christ pushing us forward, taking time to rest and recharge every day is often the last thing that we make space for. And here's the problem. Scripture is very clear that we need to rest occasionally. In fact, there are times that we not only need to rest, but we need to do absolutely nothing. Psalms 46.10 says, Be still and know that I am God. You see, when we try to overcram our lives to a place that, that we don't have time to just be still and know that He's God, we can quickly find ourselves in a physical and spiritual and, and possibly even an emotional crisis if it goes on long enough. And I believe that taking breaks and scheduling intentional rest through the day is critical for the health of everyone, but especially church leaders. Because when you do, and if you do it properly, you come back refreshed and energized and just ready to continue to, to serve the kingdom of God. And I'll repeat what I said earlier. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is to do absolutely nothing. There's huge spiritual benefits to this, but, but let's talk about the other added benefits. Most of you are overworking your minds in a way that, that if you aren't careful, your performance is going to suffer, which leads to burnout with, with sometimes in the most extreme cases, it can even lead to depression and other mental and physical sicknesses. Your mind must rest. It's critical for the longevity of your ministry and leadership. And I know the mission of the gospel drives you. It drives me. I know it causes you to want to push yourself to the extreme. You love the people of God. and You also love the, the many people in your community that need Jesus. And so this causes you to wake up every morning. And this helps you to be able to, to take on loads and do things that most average people just cannot do. But... I want you to stop and listen to me for just a moment. You gotta switch off your mind on a regular basis and allow yourself to just be with Jesus. Even if it's just for a few minutes every day. This will give you the, the God connection that you may be missing. But it'll also, it's also gonna give you the mental refreshing that you need to keep moving forward to weeks and months and years to come. And here's the deal. There's many ways to do this. It, it can be in your prayer closet if that's close by. But what about a walk in nature or sitting in your favorite easy chair? Or, or maybe you have a place that you can go sit in in your backyard. 
or a private location that, that, that you can go to at work. If you don't have any of those places, go to your car if you need to. Whatever it takes to give your mind and your soul time to just relax and do nothing. And here's what it does. With the Lord's help, it's going to increase your focus and your ability to perform well when you get back to the daily grind of work. Here's another thought. Why not do absolutely nothing multiple times in a day if you can? Studies have shown that, that most people only have a, a window of about two to three hours of focused work before they need a break. Some people say it's less time. But it has the possibility of really giving you the focus that you need to be highly productive when you get back to whatever's next on your agenda. Just be still and know that He is God. And let me leave you with one of the biggest practical tips that I can give you. Get rid of the phone distraction. It's so tough to do nothing if your phone is buzzing in your, in your pocket or on the table beside you. This is one of my, one of my personal biggest distractions, and, I, and I'll bet that you probably struggle with the same thing as well. You can either leave it in another room or you can put it on do not disturb mode it doesn't, matter, it doesn't matter how important you think you may be. I promise you that the world can live without you responding on your phone for just a few moments of solitude with Jesus. So my challenge to you today is figure out some, some way, somehow to build some time into your day that you can do absolutely nothing. And I promise you, I promise you it'll make a difference in your life, and in your ministry. So that's it for now. I would greatly appreciate you hitting the like button and sharing this content on your favorite social media sites. It just helps me extend my reach. I hope you have a great and blessed day. God bless.